Have you ever wondered how big is Paddle nowadays? And how big will Paddle be in 5 years? Today we are gonna try to answer these questions with the help of the president of the International Paddle Federation, Luigi Carraro. Well, so I have the privilege to have here Luigi Carraro, the president of the International Paddle Federation in the Premier Paddle Loja. So Luigi, I want to know more about how Paddle is gonna grow this year. Can you tell me something? Paddle, as you know, is the fastest growing sport in the world. Uh, we have now around 150 countries in the world where paddle is played. We have in, to the International Paddle Federation 64 members and we have requested from 55 more countries. So paddle is growing a lot. Paddle is, going, is growing everywhere. It's very simple to play. Is very um, spectacular to, to, to look at in TV or in YouTube. It's played by men and women. So I believe uh, there is no one, uh, one other sport with all these characteristics. That's why we only have something to do from our part that is to organize it in the best way to help the sport to become what he, he deserves to be, the best sport in the world. Following what Luigi said, there are a total of 195 countries by the United Nations. So that means that the 77% of the countries in the world plays paddle. On the other hand, the International Paddle Federation was founded in 1991 by the Spanish, Argentinian and Uruguayan federations. Since then, 61 more countries in the world have become members of the International Paddle Federations but in Africa there are just two countries, Egypt and Senegal. But there is an important question remaining here. Which country will grow the most this year? My personal bet is the USA. There are 170 courts in all the country, mainly in Texas, Florida, but also in Nevada, New York and California. This March begins the first edition of the Pro Paddle League like the NBA for Paddle in the US. And there are many investment funds starting to invest in Paddle but in the US. I'm 100% sure that Paddle is gonna explode in the US but there is a special enemy in that country, Pickleball. If you like these kind of videos, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel because it helps a lot. But Luigi, can you guess which countries will grow the most this year? I'm sure United States will be a big surprise because it's growing a lot. We have done there the um, Senior World, World Paddle Championship last year in Las Vegas and since then Paddle started a big, big growth. And then honestly, uh, South America, where Paddle started, they are still growing a lot. New countries, yesterday we had a meeting with Venezuela, a country that until a few years ago it was even not in our thought and uh, now they have a big economy on paddle and you, in Europe we are still growing a lot now we will be part of the European Olympic Games in June in uh, Cracovia and you cannot imagine how many countries applied to participate in Africa we are having a big a big development in Asia too Australia uh, we have started the big, big, big work with the Federation. Anyways, don't forget about Germany or the UK where Andy Murray, for example, has a core manufacturer company. How many millions of players do you estimate that plays paddle nowadays in the world? Spain and Argentina are by far the two countries where more people plays paddle. But do you know how fast have growth other countries in the world in the last three years? Italy from 2019 to 2021 have increased the number of cores in 374% and that means a total of 3,513 cores. So Italy is the second country in Europe in terms of number of cores. Sweden was a rocket with a higher percentage of growth but in the last months there are some clubs that are closing. One number that supports that is the rate of the total population of the country divided by the number of courts. Sweden had just 3,000 when Italy for example is around 16,000. But anyways, all the study says that in 2030 will be more than 50 million players of paddle in the world and that is more the population of Spain. Luigi, can you estimate how many people in the world play paddle nowadays? I think today we are around 25 million players. Wow, not bad. Yeah. It's, it's around it's 5 more million compared to 5 years ago, something like that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, if you think in, uh, in Spain there are more than 5 million, 
In Italy, there are more than one million and a half. When I win the election in, at the end of 2018, when I was talking about paddle, they were telling me, what's paddle? It's stand-up paddle, what's paddle? And I said, no, it's paddle, it's a play with a rack, get with the... With... <laughs> and now, everywhere I go, I tell, if I have my paddle back, ah, this is paddle, now everybody knows that. There is still a huge potential of growth in terms of visibility for paddle, especially if we compare paddle to tennis. Do you know that the word tennis is searched five times more than paddle globally? But the word paddle has increased three times since 2016, so it will be a matter of time to reduce that difference even more. But the main main question is when paddle will become an Olympic sport? I'll do a specific episode talking about this topic, so don't forget to subscribe. But Luigi, can you guess where is going to be paddle in 2030? Something like that? I wish. In every country in the world. And being an Olympic sport? What we have to do? We have to continue what we are doing. Because, you know, many sports want to become Olympic sport. Uh, many sports said it's our dream, but we have to work, we have to do the things. Until now, we are demonstrating with our project, with our Tour Premier Padel, with everything we are doing at every level, that uh, Padel is not something that is growing, but no, it's a concrete, it's, it's a reality. Uh, the show is every day better than, than it was a few years ago. So. We have to continue to work, step by step, doing the things. Uh, we like to do the things, not to talk too much, but to do the things. So now we will see all of us in Krakowia in June 21 to 25 uh, this year. We have to show to all the Olympic community what is Pavel, what the players, men, women, and you know, we will play also mixed category in Krakowia. Mm -hmm. We have to show what's paddle and when they will see what's paddle i'm sure they will be themselves that will ask us please come to the olympic games so luigi the last one how have your life changed in your in the last five years something like that uh, first of all the worst thing is that i have no time to play paddle that is the thing that i more like because it's <laughs> the most important thing for me because it's fantastic for me to play paddle but I have no time and uh, the most the, the, the best thing is in every country you will see uh, the, the young guys that want to train that they have the dream to become a champion they look at the Galan, Belasteguin, Lebron, Paquito Navarro and their dream is to become like them so this is something very important and when you have the young the the new generations that loves this sport this this will mean that the sport the our future it's a good future luigi the president of the international paddle federation like always a pleasure and thank you so much a pleasure for me i wish to see you soon